Join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter with Good Day Dakota. It's 540. Welcome back. An Arctic freeze isn't always exciting for some of us, but it brings picturesque moments weather enthusiasts love to capture. Uh, that weather enthusiasts love to capture, rather. That's right. And new this morning, meteorologist Amber Wheeler explains some of the cold weather lights that we often see in the sky this time of the year. It's beautiful. That's in this week's Weatherwise. Amber? Well, Alicia and Josh, you know, with the deep freeze comes the beauty, and many North Dakotans have seen that beauty beauty quite a bit lately. Now, the most common cold weather phenomenon we see here is the parhelion, also known as the mock sun or sun dog. These are best seen when the sun is near the horizon. Light is refracting through ice crystals here at about 22 degrees on either side of the sun, sometimes both, sometimes one side. These can happen at night using moonlight instead of sunlight. They are called moon dogs, and it's from the Greek mythology. Uh, it is said that Zeus would walk his dogs in the sky, and these were kind of like his dogs, apparently. That's where the sun dog name came from. Then there are sun pillars. These look like a flame extending from the ground to the sky, and this is when ice crystals are reflecting sunlight. The hexagonal shape of the ice crystals create that pillar that you see. This usually happens when the sun is also close to the horizon, and they can happen at night as well, only using sun instead of sunlight, you're using the light from a town or a city. And when you see this, you know it's really cold because just like in sun pillars, ice crystals are present through the entire column of air. Now, the sun halo is just that, a halo around the sun. This happens when light is refracting off of thin cirrus clouds, which are made up of tiny ice crystals. This can happen even when the temperatures at the surface are well above freezing because the temperatures are much colder higher in the sky where the ice crystal development is supported. So you can see these in the summer. This can happen also around the moon using the moonlight. Sometimes these cold weather sites, well, they can appear to have a more rainbow like appearance. When sun refracts or reflects with the ice crystals, those crystals can act as a prism to break down the light into their component parts, which is why sometimes you see a rainbow in a sun pillar or a sun dog. And if this if this image here evokes maybe a, a song in your head, then then you have really good music taste. And of course, if you see any of these cold weather beauties, we would love to see them. Upload them to our KX Storm Team app, and we'd love to show your cold weather photos. Yeah, I've seen so many of them come through, and they're just gorgeous. I'm like, ha! Ah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen two uh, so far this winter. I you know I, when I lived in North Dakota in the past, Amber, I. I don't remember ever seeing them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just want to go back to this. Did you guys know what I was talking about? Pink when I Floyd's Dark yeah, Side, Side of the Moon. Of the moon. <laughs> yeah. I've been waiting to use this for two years. I haven't used this graphic for two years. I've been waiting for this one. Now you have to sing it for us. Uh, that's an no. album, so it would be when here When you for get a while. cold, you get comfortably numb. Yeah. Hey, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Amber. And there's still plenty of news and weather ahead on Good Day Dakota, including as more senior citizens are returning.